This tree sinking into a hole at Bush Hall Yard Gap St. Michael is what alerted people who live in the area that something was wrong. One resident has had to be relocated as officials conduct their preliminary investigations. And the area is also a residential house um, just to the east, just to the west of that um, sink. And it has caused uh, fissures to the property as well. We have since then evacuated the occupant and we are in the process of securing um, housing for that individual. At present, we are conducting um, assessments to determine the extent of the hollows that we are noticing as a result of the collapse. Um, we have one that is trending in the southeastern direction and one that is trending in the southwestern direction. The hydrologist with the Ministry of the Environment, Nigel Jones, said he had recommended the tree be removed, but the COVID pandemic intervened. I had actually toured the cave and they recognized that the root system was actually in the cave and it was only a matter of time before it collapsed. Officials have established a perimeter from the center of the collapse to keep large vehicles from making the situation worse. I believe that a thorough assessment would have to be made of the area. Um, it is my understanding that the area is... Um, replete with caves, as Barbados is, being the type of place that it is. Um, but an assessment will have to be done, especially for the properties that are in the vicinity of this collapse, to determine their level of safety, um, so that those persons who occupy those properties will, will um, operate in a safe manner. Deputy Chief Fire Officer Henderson Patrick says part of the assessment will involve the use of drone technology, and they will be working with the Barbados Police Service to identify areas of concern. He says access to the area will now have to be managed as they work to trim and remove the tree. Sean Farrell, CBC News.